Well, the Blue Jays are hoping to turn things around today after a disappointing opening in their best of three wildcard series with the Twins in Minneapolis. Ground ball pulled down to third. Jorge Polanco and a wide throw. Springer is safe. So George Springer led off the game, took a tumble down first baseline, but was ultimately safe. Now, despite getting on base, though, he did not cross home plate. Kevin Gosman getting the start for the Jays, and it didn't take long for the Twins to do some damage. Julian not going, and this ball's well hit. Deep left field, it's gone. Yeah, and that damage looked like this when there was one out and one on base when Royce Lewis homered to give the Twins an early 2-0 lead. The Twins added another solo home run in the third. Kevin Gosman was replaced after four innings by reliever Eric Swanson. The Jays did get one back in the sixth inning when Bo Bichette scored on a Kevin Kiermeyer single, but that would be as close as they would get. The Twins take this first game 3-1, putting the Jays now in a must-win situation this afternoon when they take on the Twins again. So let's talk about this afternoon. Blue Jays writer, a long way from Sunlight columnist Drew Fairservice is joining us live to talk about this. Uh, the analogy is of back against the wall. We don't need to get into all the cliches, Drew, but it's pretty clear it's win or their season's finished. How do you like the, this afternoon's matchup as they've got Barrios taking the mound? You have to love what Jose Barrios has been able to do this year. Really bounce back uh, so well after a really tough season last season. Uh, I think the really the big concern for the Blue Jays right now is is can they? Uh, you both use the word in the in the intro damage. They need mm. to do damage. They need to hit the ball over the fence. It's mm -hmm. pitching in the playoffs is so tough. Um, you can't expect to string three and four hits together every inning. We saw the Blue Jays get close, but. Uh, home runs win games, so that's really what I'm looking for uh, this afternoon. Can they hit the ball over the fence against yeah. Tiger? Yeah, and, and you know their offense has been streaky uh, this in kind of the season leading up to where we are now. But when we talk about plays happening during the game, yesterday Bo Bichette, uh, he ran the base. In fact, ran through the third base coach, and it could have been bases loaded. Instead, it was their third out. So, what do you make of you know decisions that are being made uh, during crucial moments in the game by some of the players? Look, I don't. I can't fault Bo Bichette for trying to score on that play in particular. He was. Mm -hmm. He's a really aggressive base runner. And as we said, the Blue Jays haven't been scoring runs. There's two outs. Um, expecting the Blue Jays to string another hit together is a little bit is asking a lot yeah. at this stage. I, I have no um, no problem with that. Really, just trying to be heads up. If you watch the play back, you could see that Carlos Correa, the Twins shortstop, was quite uh, a distance away from from the ball when it went under the third baseman's glove. I just think. Maybe Bichette didn't get the best jump ever, but I do love the aggressiveness. That's that's kind of what it takes. It just didn't work mm. out for them. Yeah, time. I mean, you know, if, if you score, you're a hero. Uh, you get thrown out, you're you're the goat, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's sort of like the yin and the yang of something like that here. Uh, in the meantime, Drew, uh, you know, we've got Barrios on the mound yesterday. Uh, you know, Gosman admitted after the game he couldn't make the adjustments he needed to. Did you think the Twins understand Barrios as well as they understand Gosman yesterday? The Twins' record against Kevin Gossman is something else. Uh, they really just did a, a great job of staying off that his split finger fastball, which is one of the best pitches in baseball. Um, Gossman, I'm sure he kind of admitted that he wasn't getting his fastball down to the bottom of the zone that he really needs to do. Um, uh, Barrios has a bit more of a, a, a wider variety of pitches that he can throw. His curveball, his, uh, his two-seam fastball have been really effective for him this year. Um, the Twins do hit fastballs really well. One of the best teams in baseball at hitting the four-seam fastball. So hmm. I'm going to look for Barrios to kind of move, move his uh, pitches around a little bit, try to work in his changeup and his curveball when he can. Um, I, I think that the pitching and the defense aren't the concern with the Blue Jays, as we've said. I think it's really yeah. a matter of can they score any runs. Sonny Gray has had a great season for the Twins. He's a Cy Young candidate. So it's really going to be a matter of can they get to him. Not a guy who throws as hard. So really, it's uh, I'm looking for the Jays to try to do some damage, like, like we said, and, and, and hit the balls of the gaps and try mm -hmm. to take all that difficult base running stuff out of the equation, make mm -hmm. it easy to just trot all the way around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think you mentioned uh, the pitcher for the Twins tonight. Uh, what do the, the Blue Jays need to be aware of when it comes to the, the pitcher that's taking the mound on the other team? Sonny Gray is a great veteran. He's a smaller guy and doesn't throw quite as hard as, as most of the starters in the game today. But he's the kind of pitcher that you can get just about any pitch in any count. He throws, uh, you know, he really changed his pitch mix a bit this year. That really proved to be effective. He had a great season. So um, the Blue Jays are just going to have to be the kind of team that just when they see a pitch they can hit, they have to do that damage. They have to be able to, to take those softer pitches away, maybe use them, uh, hit them up to right field. We saw Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Mm -hmm. hit, a, hit a hard double up to right center field last night. And, I think that can be a really good approach for the Blue Jays. 
um, not just trying to force it and 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 trying to squeeze the bats mm-hmm. a little too tight. Really use yeah. the, uh, hit the ball where it's pitched and use the whole field, and they'll be okay. All right. Well, we, knew, we know the situation. We know what the Jays need to do. Thanks for setting this up for us. Drew Fairservice, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.